Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Child of God, you are a part of them. A part of them. A part of those that the Spirit of the Lord is resting upon in this generation. God is looking for people to use. And you are a part of them. You are a part of them. All you have done is that, Lord, I'm here. Send me. I am here, use me. I am here, help me. I am here, direct me. God is a God that can pour his spirit upon us. He said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. The word means, all flesh means those that allow him to touch him. He will touch them. Yes, he said, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Upon all flesh. Upon all flesh. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is active in you. This is a beautiful message because you, in this generation that we are, it is hard to see sincere people who are serving God for whom God is. Many people serve God because of what they want. Many people serve God because of what they want to gain. Many people come to the Lord because, oh, they are believing God. Whenever they need something from the Lord, they will remember and say, God, give me this, give me that, give me this, give me that. Some of them, when God give it to them, they disappear. Some of them, when God did not give it to them, they are like, ah, this God, I am tired. Why with God, I am tired. I, I will not serve God. Why? Because they, want, they came to the Lord just because of what they want. They did not come to the Lord for whom he is. That is why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. When you come to the Lord, you seek God. You seek God. Then the things that we are asking for, all the things that we are asking for is in the place of prayer. All the things that we are telling the Lord to do for us is in the place of prayer. Everything <clears throat> is in the place of prayer. I am telling you, but our approach to those things, it is what matter. Our approach. Are we approaching God because we want to get that thing that we want in our life? Or are we approaching God because he's God? Are we approaching God because he's God? Somebody, you just serve the Lord. This is what I hear. You are serving God because he's God. Every other thing you live in the hands of God. You are serving God because he's God. Pray that the Lord will pour his spirit upon you without measure. Without measure. Measure. God will pour his spirit upon you without measure. You cannot serve the Lord in sincerity and be empty. When you serve God for whom God is all that you need, that we are even struggling for, God have already released it in abundance. God have released everything that we are praying for in abundance. We are praying for marriages. How many marriages are on this earth? Uncountable. So God has released it in abundance. So you can still have your own. You are praying for money. God has released money in abundance. How much money is on this world? So sometimes you have to let God be God in your life. And let that which he has already released in abundance come to you. People quit, 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 quit serving God. Because they ask the Lord, oh, I've been asking God to give me this for one year. Two years did not give me. Ah, this is your God, self. I'm going. Somebody call it my God one day. Ah, this is your God. I said, this way. Say, so this is your God. I've been asking him to give me this one. God is not moved by our tattoo. He's not moved by our nagging. He's moved by our service and faith in him. That service 
and faith of God that is in you is making you to be at the front line because God is pouring upon you his spirit without measure. It is well with you, Jesus love you, and I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister evangelize about the grace of God. I will see you again. Bye-bye.